How would you just uh, look back at your journey so far? Kind of very like open, mm. and for everyone to see exactly what's happening. Do you think that uh, marriage is maybe overhyped? <laughs> Too much of speculation <laughs> that tends to take place around. When you're talking to people in India. That suddenly the first thing they'll ask you is. Are you married? I think it's like a status symbol in India. When comparisons tend to happen, uh, that uh, um, say Kajol has done so many super successful films, uh, she's everything that she does. And we don't compare each other. Like we don't compare ourselves to each other because we're so different. I think the comparison has always been in the mind of the media and in the mind of the public. Hi, this is Tanisha Mukherjee, and you're watching Bollywood Hungama. We have with us uh, Tanisha with us on Bollywood Hungama. Uh, we'll find out uh, more about her journey and what is the future plan. Play having you with us on Bollywood Hungama. Thank you for having me. Tell me, uh, how, how, how would you just uh, look back at your journey so far? I would say it's been quite exciting, very mm -hmm. simple not too hectic right. and uh, kind of very like open mm. and for everyone to see exactly what's happening. Okay and uh, do you think that uh, marriage is maybe overhyped? <laughs> too much of speculation <laughs> that tends to take place around You know they, marriage? they say in India that's the only topic people have to talk about is right. marriage. Like when you travel anywhere else in the world, like people will talk about so many other things, you know, about how your health is, how your fitness is, how your mental state is, how your, you know, friendships are, just other things. They'll talk about world economics, the environment, about so many other things. But when you're talking to people in India, that suddenly the first thing they'll ask you is, are you married? It's like a, I think it's like a status symbol in India. Yeah. And that's what's, that's why it's so hyped. Right. So, so recently, I believe, uh, uh, tour ring uh, got people triggered and <laughs> speculations were there about your marriage. So, do you find I, it funny? I find I I found it very weird. I was just so amused because I was like I didn't expect something so simple to trigger people to this level. But uh, but you know you never know with social media. It's one of those things you never know what will just take off. Correct. Okay. And how tough is it for uh, for any any anyone to have like a very successful, like a sibling, for example, and um, a very successful mother as well. Is it tough? Does it does it put pressure? You know, I think that people like, I hate this word tough because A, if you have a successful mother, you have a very easy life. You're already at a level of privilege that a lot of other people are not at. Yeah. And then on top of that, when you add a successful sister and a successful family to that, you come from so much privilege that, you know, that tough idea is just like an idea. It's got, it's, it's a mindset. If you want to buy into that mindset, yes, your life can be very difficult because you're buying into that mindset. But if you come from a place of like, I'm so lucky that I already got placed in that position, that I was open to so many more opportunities were open to me, so much more, you know, access was open to me. Correct. And when you value that, I don't think you find it tough. I think journeys are just different. They're different journeys. It's a different level of toughness for people who are new who come into the industry. And the kind of, you know, barri uh, barriers that you have to cro cross, is it's just different. But you already come from a place of privilege. Right. Now, uh, that's, that's a very interesting thing that, that you're saying. But um, when, when comparisons tend to happen, uh, that uh, um, say Kajol has done so many super successful films, uh, she's, everything that she does, people people wait for her next announcement. And I think that is something which is a huge thing for any actor or actress, that people literally wait for her announcements and uh, that if she's doing something, there yeah. must be something in the project. So I'm saying from, from, from that perspective that the comparisons which tend to happen, and, and uh, it can be brutal at times, even in, in media, for example, the way the comparisons happen, they can be brutal. So it's funny, you're right. I mean... When but and she had a different is, journey. You I'm know, sorry like, to interrupt, but the beautiful part is that Kajol is extremely supportive of you. Yes, she and is. You guys have a great relationship. And we don't compare each other. Like mm. we don't compare ourselves to each other because we're mm. so different. Mm. So I think the comparison has always been in the mind of the media and in mm. the mind of the public. I mm. will say that when you're a newcomer, like I will say the difference between somebody with privilege who comes into the industry, who has a famous parent or a sibling, 
is that they don't get a chance to make too many mistakes in the beginning. Mm. They don't get that chance to, you know, from their first film, the scrutiny is you have to be brilliant. Mm. They don't get the chance to learn on the job. Whereas a lot of actors who come in, and it's true, any actor will tell you the more films you do, the more experience you get, the better you become as an actor. So I think the more uh, younger actors who are not so famous who come in, they get a little more of that growing time before mm. the spotlight falls on them and they're scrutinized. Although now in the industry, I think there's just so much competition that you have to be brilliant. Absolutely. Uh, you've used the word privilege. Now, uh, we tend to have this, these debates all the time that about you know nepotism and how uh, how word. the industry industry <laughs> industry kids they, they tend to have an advantage i think you are like a jeeta jagta example of the fact that uh, it's 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 not that easy in the sense ki it can be there can be all sorts of things and ultimately it's the money that 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 rules the roost and uh, people make the decisions based on, on on say business aspects so just to just to uh, just to have a simplistic sort of approach that if you are from the film family, you've had it easy. Maybe it is not correct. Yeah, definitely. I think that if you come from a film family, you just have a lot of scrutiny, like I say again and again. It's just, it's it's not about, um, like, I, I honestly don't know how to answer this question because it's so, it's so vague. You know what I mean? You can't, there's, there's everybody's journey is different. And you can't compare one to the other. Some people have had it really easy. Some filmy kids have blown up, you know. And like they just had like, it was like, wow, it just happened. And some have not worked. So it's, I think it's a very subjective, you know, thing. And as far as, like you said, this industry is all about the money. It's become business now. If you're not bringing in the dollars, if you're not bringing in the bucks into the screen, then you're not going to make it. All right. Now, you also use the word mental health. Um, what is the importance of of uh, of just nurturing the, the mental health element? Because ultimately, life goes on. And it's very, very important to uh, to to have a life beyond beyond competition and beyond work and beyond f success and beyond, beyond fame. I think uh, before you come into this industry, you have to have a very strong sense of self. No matter what age you're at, you need to have a very strong sense of who you are and that person will come out and be the star on screen. Right. And I think those are the people that actually make it. The ones that have a very strong sense of self. And maybe I didn't make it because I didn't have that. Maybe I was a little more insecure or maybe I was a little more, you know, who knows. But I really do after all these years, after seeing the graph of many people and just being very like, having my own observations, I feel that the people who have a very strong and that makes a difference because otherwise this industry can really mess with your mental health because you will have no matter which stage in life and the more successful you get, the more you need to be strong about who you are because the more people will try to tell you about who you should be and how you should be and what you should be and I think, you know, that's why it's very important to come into this industry with a strong a sense of self and a strong in like a strong backing like a strong family or a strong support system that you know gives you that confidence to go in front of the camera and be yourself every time because everybody will try to make you they'll try to mold you to them their way of how you should be or their perception of you how you should be yeah right. what is the importance of a sense of humor definitely Definitely. You have to be able to laugh at yourself. And sometimes you just have to be able to ignore yourself also. Achha, that's I, I think the most important thing is have, you have to, like my key to happiness is knowing what to ignore. You have to learn to ignore things. If you're not able to ignore things, you can't, you can't move, you know, you can't like function. Interesting, <laughs> interesting. Hi, this is Tanisha Mukherjee and you're watching Bollywood Hungama.